Hey everyone and welcome to another coffee break. Uh, just before I start, there is a crazy storm outside, so if you hear any thunder or see flashes of lightning, that's what's going on. It's raining, it's bucketing down, so I do apologize for any uh, background noise like that. Um, and, and they seem to be digging up the road outside too, so good luck. Um, but today we have something very, very exciting to me. Um, that is the the Hucky Penelope McStompsalot from Hucky and uh, Kid Robot, and it's a, the, to use the eight inch Dunny platform. And this is something I really wanted ever since it came out, and it just sold out before I even realized. Like it was just gone. And this and the post apocalyptic series and all this sort of stuff. It, it, that, nothing just no no pre-orders anywhere no no nothing so I was just like oh um, I did randomly stumble upon a shop that I that I use that has some post-apocalyptic stuff so I'm gonna go pick some some of that up now start going back and collecting a few of those because um, Haki does amazing things um, so but I am very excited to get this uh, I did get it for the retail cost so that was, that's brilliant to me, it's, and uh, it's a really, really cool piece, and uh, just really excited about it, and excited uh, to add it to a, a, to my Hucky Blank, which I have right here. Oh, hold on, reaching over, there you go. Here's my Hucky Blank. Ta-da! So, um, the start of a few more things. I do want to get the other Hucky Dunny as well. I'd love to get the uh, chase of this, but uh, I'm not going to hold my breath on that one. Um, but yeah, really, really excited uh, to finally have this, and very excited that Huck and uh, Mighty Jacks have announced the, they're, they're carrying on the um, Gold Life series, the, the um, samurai ninja sort of themed uh, series that was originally in Dunny form, and now it's going to be on like little versions of the blank, is what I can get a picture of. But anyways, very excited about that, but we're here to look at this, so let's look at this. Um, here it is all in its glory. So uh, very huck, very um, love the skull. Uh, the the chase is pretty much instead of green, it's black with a white skull. It looks very very cool. But uh, I'm very excited about this. So I'm going to take it apart bit by bit. Now here's the sword. The sword I haven't really got to really fit that well in the hand yet. Um, maybe there's a trick to it I haven't figured out yet. But this is literally just arrived. I've just opened it and chucked it on camera real quick. It says for hire, call Steve. It's a beefy sword. Very cool. Um, and there's little written stuff around it all the time, so it's, it's very cool. And then you get this kick-ass shield with more skulls. Who doesn't love a skull? Um, with guns built into the shield, I'm mean, guessing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to think that because I think it's really cool. And probably to me the coolest part is it's actually a mech. And this is what I was saying about the mecha dunny. I'd love it if the mecha dunny did this as well. You know, that would be amazing. But yeah, you get this cool little pilot with a patch with dust on it. Um, cool little pilot with a patch. Not not overly, uh, you know, it's not, it's, not, it's not a stand back dunny piece by itself, but it's a cool little dunny. I like the patch. Um, she's cool. But, uh, and so let's have a look at the dunny itself without, without we're not from the outside in. But, uh, so you get a nice close up. Does that blowback industries? Lots of cool designs. Lots of. Um, I don't know who Penny is. I guess Penelope. I don't know. Um, so yeah, there's the skull. There's some. And then we'll go around the back here. The back's very cool. <laughs> See what they did here? See what they did? It's very cool. Uh, feel free to pause and read all of that. Coffee, very important, almost the top of the list. So yeah, they've done a really good job with this, and the inside, they did a really great job with it. Yeah, that's a terrible light, there you go. I think they did a really great job with that. They didn't need to go as detailed as that. Um, but yeah, this is by far, by far the best Dunny I think I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, I think this is beyond rad. So it's 8 inch normal, normal 8 inch sized dunny and uh, if you can get one of course I suggest it. I've been wanting one for donkeys. So I'm really happy to have this and it'll it'll 
now have a pride of place somewhere in the collection. I, I want to make a little display with this and the, the little mecha ones. Um, but i got to go back and pick up all of those. Uh, I've wanted them for a long time and I'm going back and picking up pieces that I've, I've wanted for a while. Um, with toys, there's always new stuff coming out and you're like, oh, I really want this, I really want that. And then after a while, you're like, you kind of kind of mellows out on you. So now I'm kind of going back and going, I'm get, getting the pieces I've really wanted from the past few years. And this is one of them. Um, so I'm really, really happy about this. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, a, that's it. Really. I just, I'm going to start gushing if I keep talking. So love this. Pick it up if you can. Uh, if not, look forward to what Huck's going to produce in the future. I think him and Mighty Jacks are going to have a great relationship. Um, so, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy coffee. Ta-da! And uh, I'll chat to you lovely people later.